Hi, my name's Chris and I love Star Wars. I love books about Star Wars. And here we have a great one here, Star Wars Timelines. This is pretty much if you're into the lore and where things fit along the timeline of the Star Wars galaxy, this is the book you need to get. Here, I'll show it to you. As you can see, the book pretty much starts right at the beginning of it all, at the 26,000 years before the Battle of Yavin. You know, there's not much that we know about stuff way back then, but it gets a couple pages anyway. And then from there, we go to the High Republic, which, as you know, is a pretty big deal right now. All the details on the High Republic. Let's just skip through it a bit. Every major section starts out with the timeline kind of sketched out like you see here. This is the fall of the Jedi era, culminating in the Revenge of the Sith, of course. And within that chapter, we get a lot of Clone Wars stuff. One thing I really love is that this book just treats all Star Wars canon the same, whether it's movies, TV shows, games, what have you. It's all here and it's all presented with the same degree of weight. As a big gamer myself, I pretty much sought out Jedi Fallen Order right away because I was actually really curious how it compared in the timeline to Solo, which I knew they were around the same time. Turns out Fallen Order is a little bit ahead of Solo. And shortly after the section about the events of Solo comes the events of the Kenobi TV show. And I think that's the most recent production that gets uh, played up in here. So you're not going to get Ahsoka. You're not going to get Andor. You're not going to get uh, Jedi Survivor. But you get pretty much everything that's happened in the Disney canon era of Star Wars through the airing of Kenobi in mid-2002. Once again, that's Star Wars timelines. You're not going to be disappointed with this one, trust me.